Alright, so recently there has been a lot of drama surrounding the tab clunk that I've reviewed not too long ago and people actually asked me to like take a look at about this because there has been pictures and people telling people that it's a discord token stealer so I just want to talk about that but before you get into that I just want to let you guys know that I will never make videos or release anything on my channel that harms my viewers computer so for example uh, a year ago right I was going to make a video on this cheat called mithril client one of the owner called Minted actually offered me $60 and right that's the exact amount to make a video on mithril client so I was gonna do it, both party agreed, we were gonna have a deal, and I was down with it, but ended out it was a virus, so I never actually made the video. And after that, I did reset my computer, and somehow he was able to get a hold of my email, password, and my first name, so... I don't know if he had more information, but that's all I got out of him, so who knows. So, one of my friend, Petty, actually was actually involved too, so... If you guys have any questions, you guys can probably find him on Discord, but who knows. So that's my first point, I clear that up, I will never actually try to make a video on a cheat because I'm pretty much jeopardizing my own safety, so why would I jeopardize my own safety just for a video that will get like 2, 3, 4k views, right? Okay, and my second point is that I'm gonna be clarifying what the conspiracy has been about, so it was said that it was a Discord token grabber, but it's actually not. It's a way for them to check blacklisted Discord user IDs, so I don't know why they do that, but every cheat has some sort of... Um, so security preventions and that's my third point so it's a pretty smooth transition but every cheat has some sort of security preventions where they try to protect their cheats or just identify certain people that can harm their cheats so i'm assuming that the blacklisted discord user ids are for like staffs or anything that try to open it or something i'm not sure but um their free cheat which is bad it actually uses a discord authentication to check so basically, if you guys get 5 invites for their Discord, you have access to this clicker called BAP. And the way that you can open it is you have to have Discord open at the exact channel name. Otherwise, it's not going to open. So people can't just share the EXE and share this free auto clicker around. So that's a pretty interesting way on authenticating people because a lot of free clients don't have any authentications. You can just drag the jar file or open the EXE and it'll open right away. So that's their way of trying to authenticate people that actually invited and did their share before like just freeloading off of it but yeah okay so the fourth part is that there are not only tap that's actually doing this so there are a lot of other cheats not only in minecraft but let's talk about vape blight actually so vape blight if you guys don't know but manthe has a way of monitoring people like just processes in general so let's say you are um, you flagged vape light server for trying to detect vape light and Matthew will give you a retarded version of vape light that produces fake strings and if you found the string you'll think oh I detected vape light so as a staff you're probably really happy but you didn't realize that you were played by Matthew so that's a way of Matthew to kind of say make the cheat undetect so it's pretty clever but at the same time it is pretty intrusive so yeah i call these like intrusive um checks and just flags that a lot of cheats have to kind of prevent their software from being detected or cracked or reversed so is it intrusive yes but is it for the cheats good and for your good yes because the reason you even bought a ghost client is to make sure that's undetected right so as long as your intention is good and you don't have any negative intention like sharing it showing people it and letting people detect it then i think you should be fine and you, sh you shouldn't be worrying about these things because it's not really harmful another cheat that i can talk about is cucklord so i remember at the beginning phase of cucklord they used to take a screenshot of your desktop every time you open it it is to prevent people from sharing accounts and a lot of people didn't like it so they actually removed it which i feel like it should have really stayed because you know I feel like if you remove that feature, there are chances of just people sharing it and they're losing money. You gotta realize that a lot of cheats should really start caring about their security because they're losing like tons of money if their cheat get cracked, leaked. I mean, just look at Ice-T, um, a client that I really wasn't gonna review, but I cannot feel bad for them that it got like cracked and leaked. Their security wasn't on point and it just got cracked and stuff. So cheats really need to focus on the security more. Okay, the last cheat that I'm going to talk about is actually a CSGO cheat called GameSense, aka Skeet. So Skeet, a lot of people that probably know that it's actually a rootkit and it can detect all the devices that are connected to your computer like your mouse and keyboard. It is their way to like check if you're sharing your account or not and it is very intrusive but you know, it's just how they detect their 
um, people trying to share their account and stuff. Okay, my last and final point is that whenever you buy a ghost client or just use a ghost client, um, you have some sort of TOS that you've agreed to write. And I know that people don't read that shit, but you gotta realize that once you agree to it, you can't really start bitching about uh, your privacy or shit because you gotta make sure you actually read it. Although I don't actually read it because I trust the developers that are behind it because I've actually known the owner of uh, Tap for quite a long time actually, like almost three years. I've been a user of like Apollo V2 even before it got big and turned into Apollo Pro Light Web, the trio when he merged with Air. So I trust that he's not gonna do it. And think about this actually, so Tap, just opened like not too long ago right and their business has been booming all the stocks have been sold so there's absolutely no reason for them to rap people i mean they're just ruining themselves so if they're not ruining themselves they should really be just improving the cheat get more youtubers to make videos and they'll just make even more money so there's just no reason there's for them to rap people it just doesn't make sense at all so I was going to end the video here but i remember something that the owner actually told me which is that there has been a lot of people from staffs and owners of other ghost clients trying to shut down or DDoS their servers and I don't want to bring up any names because quite frankly some of these people are the people who I'm working with right now to like just make videos on their clients so I'm not obviously going to talk about their names but just know that top I mean not top but tab has a lot of enemies in the community and they're constantly being DDoS and targeted by a lot of the developers in the community so that's it for the video Thank you guys for watching and um, I'll actually leave Taps link in the description if you guys want to check it out. You know, I think it's safe and nothing has happened to me and my Discord has not been tampered with. My PC is fine. So hopefully this video has taught you guys about these intrusive checks and flags that a lot of ghost clients and cheats in general have to make sure that they're up with a security game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.